let's talk still water indicator fly fishing. First, I want to talk about ideal rods um, and ideal reels or the reel that I use. But your ideal rod would be a nine to 10 foot, four to seven weight rod. A seven weight would be more for streamers, but I mean, I guess you could use it. Uh, six weight or five weight would be the best to use. I have, what I have in front of me is a Fenwick Eagle X nine foot five weight fly rod which is a combo rod, but I have taken the reel off of it and put a Reddington Run 5.6 weight with Scientific Angler's Trout, or Frequency Trout floating line on it. So, um, for our leader, our, what I have, yeah, for our leader, uh, we will be using a Rio Indicator Leader, 10 foot, Preferably in 3x, but they were sold out. So what I have on is 4x. And another video I've seen, uh, they used um, just some a bunch of tippet. But of course, if you know me, I am quite good at messing things up. So when I was taking this leader out of the package, it was raveled a lot, and I ended up snapping it. So what I did is I took the bat, or the butt section, I put a loop. And I just made a little loop-to-loop -loop connection to the rest of the tippet. From there, what we will do is we will grab, if you do any salmon fishing or you use certain types of floats, you might have heard of something called a bobber stop. So I have bobber stops right here and they are green, which makes it easier to see. So what you will do is you'll put your tippet through the loop. You can see. You fold your tippet over and you pull the bobber stop off, which will then leave it on your line so you can pull it all the way up. Ooh, that's fun. Um, I will see, I should be able to get it past, no, I won't be able to get it past those knots, which is whatever. I don't fish way too deep very often, and I'll buy more of these leaders eventually. And then what you are gonna want to do is put your indicator on, which is quite easy. You just take your leader and slide it through the black peg. We use quick release because when a fish puts tension on it, as I will show you. And for a quick release, you just take the peg out and then you put it back on. And when there's tension, it comes apart for when you're fishing deeper water. Um, and then from there, you're going to want to use a small barrel swivel. This helps reduce the bounce in choppy conditions. Um, and you are going to tie that on using a clinch or improved clinch knot. There we go, that is now tied on. So you're gonna take some 4X, 3X, uh, whatever size your leader is, or a size smaller, I will be using 4X. Tip it. And you're gonna wanna take a decent length. And you're going to want to tie that on to your barrel swivel. Yet again, using the clinch knot. Now it's time to 
go down to your fly. So how about we talk flies for a second here. Uh, when it comes to still water fishing, you're going to want your damsel flies, coronamids, um, dragon flies, may flies, caddis flies, uh, scuds, and even leashes and bait fish. Um, so what I'll be tying on is going to be a little marabou micro leech in a size 14, which is pretty small fly. Does catch fish though. And how you're gonna want to tie that on is with a non-slip loop knot, which is pretty easy to find on YouTube. There's videos all over the place if you want to learn about it. And yeah, that's how I like to make my still water indicator rigs. So, uh, tight lines and fish on. Have a good one, guys.